Hey, it's Nick, holistic nutritionist, author of The Healthy Fat Loss Diet, and creator of the Flat Belly System and the Three Week Metabolism Diet. In today's video, I'm going to go over the five major metabolic factors that you need to be aware of if you'd like to lose weight and more importantly, release stubborn body fat. If you think that you can lose weight, get healthy, and more specifically, get rid of excess stubborn body fat without addressing any met metabolism complications or your metabolism in general, specifically these five major factors, then you're in for a rude awakening because you're going to find it near impossible to lose weight if you're not addressing the very thing that's going to allow and supply that internal environment for you to get your external aesthetic result. Now, we all agree that our body is our temple, right? But we sometimes we fail to realize that temples are built starting with a foundation. The foundation is these are these uh, five meta metabolic factors and ultimately your metabolism. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but if you don't build your temple, your body on a solid foundation, then you're gonna, your temple is going to come crumbling down. In the case of your body, your health is going to suffer. You're going to create a state of dis-ease, of stress, of imbalance hormones, of uh, unstable blood sugar. And uh, we're going to talk more about that. But uh, yeah, so in the case of your body, it's not going to crumble down. It's going to get bigger on the waistline. Uh, be in a state of inflammation, like get cellulite and things like that. And um, ultimately, you're going to just be in a state of survival. So you're, you'll be breathing and your metabolism will be functioning at a super low level. But if you want to release that stored body fat, you got to go from surviving to thriving. And I'm going to teach you that exact thing in this video with the five major metabolic factors. All right, so you ready to go over the five metabolic factors that are going to help you lose weight and ultimately get the body of your dreams. Metabolic factor number one is your liver. This, might, this video is definitely not going to be your normal uh, metabolism tips or healthy weight loss tips. This video is going to get to the deep reason we're peeling back the onion, peeling back the layer on what it truly takes to reboot your metabolism and lose that excess stubborn belly fat that is not only dangerous, but it's just uh, it's something that you don't want in your body, so you should be able to get rid of it, right? Cool, so your liver is of course your major detoxification organ. It is uh, responsible, believe it or not, for almost three quarters, 75% of your thyroid function. It converts at the liver T4 inactive thyroid to T3 active thyroid. So if your liver is overloaded with toxins from whether it be uh, lots of medications, um, pesticide residues, stress hormones from physical, psychological, mental, emotional stress, from alcohol, from sugar, from high fructose corn syrup, gluten, soy, all these inflammatory foods and lifestyle um, habits, then it's not going to be a very funct uh, high functioning liver organ. So not only will your liver, your, your blood from not being able to detoxify excess estrogens or toxins that are just uh, free floating in there, your thyroid is going to suffer because your liver is the prime, is the area where it's that, it's getting that conversion from inactive to active thyroid. So if you have hypothyroidism, is it really that you have a problem at your thyroid or is, do you have a problem at your liver? That's another point and a key takeaway in this video. You have to start asking questions because we need to realize and understand that everything is connected. All these things I'm going to talk about today are connected to one another. And then in the videos that I'm going to release after this one, all that's connected too. So the food you eat, the exercise choice, and your lifestyle habits negatively or positively affect these major metabolic factors. Let's go to number two, your adrenal glands. All right, so your adrenal glands, of course, are where you are um, regulating your major steroid hormones. And so what happens to your adrenal glands is if they are overloaded from um, too much caffeine, uh, lack of good quality sleep, 
poor quality food choices, excess stress hormones, specifically uh, cortisol, where actually uh, is produced at your adrenal glands. But if cortisol becomes too much in excess, actually you could cause too little cortisol from having prolonged periods of too much cortisol. Too much cortisol causes fat gaining, too little cortisol causes fat gaining, fat storage. So cortisol and other hormones like catecholamines, which adrenaline, can work in your favor when it, you have that right internal balance. And overloaded uh, adrenal glands, which is known as adrenal fatigue, can cause the opposite effect of that. Remember, your choices, the food, your exercise, etc., negatively or positively affects your metabolism and each one of these major metabolic factors. All right, number three. We've talked about this one already. Your master metabolism regulator, your thyroid. So let's just talk about how all these are connected, these, these first three right now. So if your adrenal glands are overloaded from stress, lack of sleep, uh, inflammatory foods, this causes your liver to um, become sluggish because you have excess estrogen, excess cortisol that your liver is trying to deal with. You overload your liver and you prevent it from activating that T3, that active form of thyroid. And so now your thyroid, and we're going to go up a little bit higher to your hypothyroid and your pituitary, are not getting the right messages because your uh, the, the steps that are at the bottom are not communicating that you have these hormones here. So what happens is your hypothyroid and pituitary keep firing at your thyroid to, we need some, we need some hormone here, we need some we need to get our body temperature up. We need to boost our metabolism. But there's a miscommunication. And so your thyroid slows down because everything is just overloaded and sluggish. All right, major metabolism factor number four. <clears throat> your muscle. Your muscle is crazy important when it comes to needing to lose weight and release stubborn body fat because your muscle is tissue. And it is the only tissue that is what is called metabolically active tissue, MAT. Just remember that, MAT. Uh, muscle, essentially, is what's going to burn the fat that you start releasing when we address other things and um, we're going to talk about in other videos. But when you um, are starting to balance out these major organs and endocrine glands that are overloaded and not functioning optimally, you're going to start feeding that muscle and building lean attractive, awesome muscle that is going to burn off the free floating fat that's being released. So we need to uh, not only build muscle, but maintain what we have. And believe it or not, here we go. Adrenaline, I mean, uh, at your adrenal glands, cortisol is produced. And so excess cortisol leads to muscle breakdown. Muscle breakdown leads to slow thyroid function, a very slow metabolism, and of course, excess stored fat. All right, last but not least, number five, and quite simply, this is your body. This, your body, there are two types of bodies, a fat storing body and a um, fat burning body. And your body is a, is a result of the four metabolic factors that precede it. So if you are, um, if your liver is suffering, if your adrenal glands are fatigued out, if your thyroid is slow functioning, if you are breaking down and not building lean muscle with smart exercise and, and great, good quality whole food choices, then your body is going to become a fat storing body. And that is not what we want ultimately. We want to have a highly high functioning, metabolically efficient fat burning body. That's a mouthful, but ultimately, you're only going to get a fat-burning body when you start making those good uh, lifestyle choices, get your food foundation that's focused on whole foods, avoiding inflammatory foods, adding anti-inflammatory foods that are pro-metabolism. We'll talk about that in other videos. So you can create yourself a fat-burning body. Now, there are seven key differences between a fat-storing body and a fat-burning body. And the link to that video is right below this one. And so I want you to go and check out that video so you can find out the seven differences between a fat storing body and a fat burning body. If you're ready to check out the three week metabolism diet, go ahead and click on the link right below the link to the next video and check it out and see how you can restart 
your metabolism in 21 days to lose potentially 19 pounds and 14 inches. Go check out the success stories on the three-week metabolism diet. It is a done-for-you, easy-to-follow plan with meal plans, exercise recommendations and videos, a mindset guide, and the works. All right, so click to the next video if you're interested in learning those seven key differences. We'll see you soon.